Hi everyone, and I'd like to show you this Rubik's Flat 3x1 cube. Um, sometimes it's called a Rubik's Floppy Cube or a Rubik's Edge. And it comes in a little pack like this. So let's open it up first of all. Okay, and it comes out of the pack. And it's exactly a third of a normal Rubik's Cube. It's just a third, one layer of the three layers. White, blue, orange, green, yellow. You've got all the colours, six colours, four round the edges and two faces. And it turns like this. One thing to note is you can get various shapes that are not flat. It says it's called here Rubik's Flat, but it's you can make it not flat. To solve it, you need it to be flat. So say you've got something like that with a piece sticking up. What you do is you rotate it. You rotate the bar next to the piece sticking up, then rotate the piece and then rotate that bar back again. Okay, so just to show you again, let's say, okay, so say a piece is sticking up like that. So you rotate the line next to it. Then you rotate that bar, you want it this way. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want it that way because it would get in the way this way and then you can put that bar back. Very interesting, the three pieces the three bars move independently in both directions. So you can get a kind of H shape, cross shapes. Okay. Okay, so to solve the Rubik's flat, once it's flat, the first step is to make the white cross. That means the middle bit, the middle square is white and the four corners are white. And so you're, first of all, you get the center piece white facing you. Now you might have these two are white, but these two are not white. In that case, it's very simple. You just turn this bar 180 degrees and you've got the white cross now. You've got other white pieces as well, but we're focusing on this. In some cases, it might be just the middle is white and you have no corners that are white. Well, to fix that, you just turn this 180 degrees and this side 180 degrees. And there you've got your white cross. OK, now, so the first step is to make it flat. The second step is to get the white cross. The third step is to get the edges lined up. Now there's only two cases that you'll find. One is where one cube needs to be swapped with its opposite. Okay, so to fix this, what we do is look for two blocks, same color on the right. Then you turn the right hand side 180 degrees. Then you turn this front bar 180 degrees clockwise. And then you turn this bar 180 degrees. And there, that's fixed the edges. The other case you might encounter is where you have one color interspersed with another color, like this. So blue, green, blue, orange, red, orange. So to fix this, you choose the middle line and you spin that 180 degrees, like that. And then you turn the middle line 180 degrees as well. And that's fixed that. And the final step is to solve the white face. So say you've got almost solved like this, but one piece is out of place. So what you do is you kind of lift that bar so that it's sticking up, okay? And then you can just rotate that piece to exactly where you want it and then put it back. Ta-da! And that is the Rubik's Flat 
solved. Lovely little puzzle. Highly recommended. Yay. Hope you enjoyed it. Yay. See you later.